Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Do The Work where we're going to cover question 20 of the math proficiency test. I encourage you to try this problem by yourself and if you need help then watch this video here and it, sh it should help and especially if you've watched the videos before you should be able to give it a good go. Before we get going though, I would really appreciate if you could hit the subscribe button below to support the channel, but also to get notifications of all future episodes. So for this problem, we are asked, which of the following tables show fractions, a decimal, and a percent that are equal in value? So essentially we have uh, the same number expressed as the fraction, a decimal, and a percent, but only one of them is gonna be correct and all the other three are gonna be false. So again, we need to understand what's going on, but to do so you can watch the video and you need to know how to convert from a fraction to a decimal to a percent. So once we have a fraction, for example, let's say, let's just get uh, started right away. Let's say, we, let's say we have four over five well, you could divide four by five. So if I do this here, it would be four divided by five. I know it's gonna be 0 0.8, but it's good to do in a calculator as well. Um, so we know it's 0 0.8. It makes sense intuitively because um, like it's almost one, right? Five out of five, it would be one and it's one less and one out of five is 0 0.2, so it makes sense. So we know it's definitely not this one. So just to get going, I'll, I'll make sure the decimal and the percentage match. So here's 0 0.15 and 15%, that makes sense, right? So then yes, and then this doesn't make sense just based on the percentages because this would be 30%. So this is 15% and then this is 50% uh, here, right? And then this is 45%, so it would it would have worked, but then the fraction doesn't work. So here, 50% is not 5%, so we know right away it's B. But let, as always, let's always confirm our answer. We have 3 over 20. There's two different ways to do it. Since we did divide for the last one, I'll just multiply it by 5 here, since it works into 100 pretty nicely. And then that would be 15 over 100. That is obviously 0 0.15 and 15% because it's 15 per 100. So it makes sense that it is 15%. Therefore, it is B and it confirms our answer. Now that we have our answer, it's always good to build some intuition for to develop other types of problems and make sure we understand here. So let's just look at the fractions and then compare it to the decimal, the percent, because we're, we're pretty good at putting a percent bar, right? Let's say this is zero and this is 100, 50 is in the middle, and then 25 is here. Like we're pretty good at that, 75%, 1% is down here, like 37 is somewhere in there. So that said, let's put the fraction in the bar, okay? So for, I'll just write A, B, C, and D. And we have, I'll use a highlighter, four fifths. So I'll split this up into five. So that would be one, two, three, and four, let's say. Four fifths would be something like this, whereas 45% is just under half. So here we have 15%, so that would be somewhere here. But then let's look where 320 it's is. So that's half, so that's 10. And then I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then keep going. So then again, this one is the right one. So it makes sense that it is. Um, and then for C, we need 30ths. So I can just divide it in three for this one. So it would be one and two. I'll put it a little bit more centered. It'll be somewhere here. So then that's 10 and then 20, 30th. So nine is just under 10. 
Meanwhile, 3% is almost zero, right? So it's somewhere here. So it doesn't make sense. And then similarly, we have five over 100. So I'll just split this up into groups of 10. So it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oops, that's not a good split. So let's make them a little bit wider. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we have five over a hundred. So that's half of one. And I could split those into 10, but it would be hard. And then the decimal is 50%, right? So the decimal is 50%. So it would be somewhere here, uh, 50% or 0 0.5. The only one that matches is B. So it confirms our answer. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video for question 21 of the MPT test.